What is up guys? Welcome to this really quick tutorial. Just wanted to share something with you. If you're looking to remove the background, if, if it's a simple background and you want to remove it from something in After Effects, this is CS 5.5. There's a really quick way that you can do it. And it's right here on effects and presets. And you find you find the color key effect. And then when you drag it onto your image, You'll see it pops up over here and here you can choose the key color that is the color that you want to key out and what's the and what's easiest is if you just click the eyedropper tool over here and you click it on the color you want to remove so in this case the background white and you can see it's already doing some of the job for us now it's not perfect but there's these controls here on the side so you have your tolerance uh, which which just kind of says how much it's digging into the color that you selected um, it's it's running it along a spectrum and it's saying okay the the closest colors to these and then you're expanding that range so you can see how it kind of eats into the white over here and that's one of the problems with keying but in order to get the background out it's really quick and you can also add some feathering if you want to soften the edges like that you can also thin the edges and bring them in or or punch them out of it so it's not perfect but but I assume perfect is not what you're going for if you wanted it perfect you just uh, probably key it out in something like Photoshop or you'd rotoscope it or something but if you want a quick fix this is fantastic okay so here we have two pictures very similar one with a solid background and one with a white background so we can add our color key to the both of these we can see what we do with them let's choose lady one and here we want to key out this color let's add up the tolerance a little bit still see a bit of blue going in you have to be very very subtle with these so you can hold control to increment it a bit more and you see it's kind of losing a lot already so let's bring that out and then we can and then we can just feather the edges a little bit not a terrible job great for a quick fix you can always mask these little bits off later let's have a look at this lady 2 over here and you'll see here's where it starts to lose its value um, somewhat because you'll see the the range that you give if, if you'll notice I have a gradient here going from white to the blue over here so anywhere you select in between there it's it's gonna like you see now it's it's keying out that specific um, that specific tone so if you want to capture the rest of it you'll need to uh, increase your tolerance here you'll see there's a bit of overlap as well with, with the with the white in the foreground and in the background so we want to remove that and you can see immediately it's starting to 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 eat into that while it's not a perfect solution there are situations that work much better for or against it just to give you a quick example here's here's an image of a rubik's cube that i'm actually using in a video that i'm making for you guys right now and that's actually what, what prompted me me coming up with this tutorial because I, I needed to refresh my memory on a quick way to remove a background you know I, I, I didn't want to have to trace or anything like that so then I was just looking around in the effects and I found this and I was like oh wow if, if I just do that and drop that in I mean it's not much to start off with but you see like that really quickly we just do a bit of feathering maybe bring the edges in a little bit and just like that I mean that took us what two seconds 10 seconds who who knows but the the point is you got a lot done really really quickly and that's what i'm about and that's what this tip is about i, I hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something until next time